Breakfast ready? Hang, Gregory. He doesn't deserve you. You're like some lovely, untouchable statue. Oh, is that not beautiful? Yeah. See, I, how about a little breakfast, huh? I'm, I'm late. I never knew what beauty meant until I met you. I never knew what a beating heart was for. Oh, I cannot bear it. Well, look, how about a little breakfast? What do you say? Yeah. Janie, this is not exactly what I had in mind. Read your paper, Master. What? I've treasured every second we've been together. Oh, is he not wonderful? Well, you better turn that TV set off. It's going to start to grow corn. <laughs> One for every hour that I've spent with you. Oh, Ronald. Cynthia. <laughs> Uh, where'd you get those? They are from Ron. Doctors are good. What are you doing? What am I doing? I'm giving up women. Well, I, I, I thought you and Georgia had something. Don't mention Georgia. But weren't you sort of engaged? She was sort of engaged, only I found out it was with another guy. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry to hear about that. Yeah, well, it opened my eyes. Boy, all women are unfaithful. Ruth, Alice, Faye, all of them. They're rotten to the core. I've had a few bad experiences. You bet they're all bad. All of them. No, not all of them. All of them. Well, what about Jeannie? What about her? No, nah, Jeannie would never be interested in another man in the world. How about a bet on that? What do you mean? What do I mean? What do I mean? I'm going to open your eyes. That's what I'm going to do. I bet you if the right guy comes along, Jeannie will drop you so fast your head will swim. <laughs> you don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah. Well, $50 says I do. No, I don't want to take your money. $50? Right. I don't bet on a thing like that. I'll bet you that all women are bad, including Jeannie. All right. All right. I'm going to take your bet. I'm going to teach you a little something about women. All right. It's a bet, huh? A bet. All right. Who's the guy? Me. You mean you're going to take Jeannie away from yourself? No, I'm betting that I can't take Jeannie away from myself. Major Nelson's residence. Yeah, uh, Jeannie? Master darling, is there anything I can do for you? No, no, no. I just wanted to uh, ask you to come down and have lunch at the base with me today. <gasps> You're inviting me to come to the base? Yeah, that's right. Oh, but you always tell me to stay away. Well, I've changed my mind. Then why don't you put on your prettiest dress and meet me here at 1 o'clock, okay? <gasps> oh, yes, darling Master. I will be there. Good, good. I'll see you then. Goodbye. <gasps> Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking for Major Nelson. Yes, as a matter of fact, so was I. Do come in. Come, come, come. Uh, Major Nelson was called away around a Sunday. <laughs> Don't you sit down, please. Oh, yes. yes. Now, I'm afraid he won't be back for the rest of the afternoon. Oh, dear, and we were to have had lunch. Oh. 
Forgive me. Jeffrey Tiffin Smythe, at your service, ma'am. I am Jeannie. Jeannie. Jolly nice name, that. <laughs> are you a friend of Major Nelson's? No, no, actually. I've just flown in from London this morning. Oh, you are English? <laughs> yes, quite, quite. I, I'm in the British Army Medical Corps. Oh, how exciting. No, not really. <laughs> Look here. Since your Major Nelson stood you up, as you Americans say, perhaps you'll have a spot of lunch with me. And that is, unless you're one of those girls that doesn't make dates with strange men. Uh, no, I, I don't. Oh, jolly good for you. But in this case, I would make an exception. <laughs> splendid, splendid. I would just leave a note for Major Nelson. Yes, poor chap. What? Oh, good idea, good idea. Perhaps he can join us later. Yeah, I doubt it. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, Dr. Bellows. Yes. I don't believe we've met. I know you by your reputation, of course. Do you? What's your name? Uh, Geoffrey Tiffin Smythe. I'm here on detached service from London. Uh, you're a doctor? <laughs> yes, yes, quite. Of course you're with a group of English psychiatrists who are visiting NASA. Uh, well, as a matter of fact... I'm delighted to meet you. I'd like to discuss that new breakthrough that you chaps have been working on. Uh, breakthrough? The chemotherapy breakthrough and schizophrenia. No, yes, <laughs> that break. Well, how silly of me, of course. Why don't we go along to my office? I'm, I'm dreadfully sorry. I'm rather busy at the moment. If you're... But we have so much to talk about. Yes, yes, of course we do. If you'll excuse me just for one moment, I'll be right back. Uh, uh, certainly. Are we ready for lunch? Oh, um, Jenny, I'm dreadfully sorry. Something rather important's come up. I'm afraid I won't be able to have lunch with you after all. Oh, dear, I did so want to get to know you better. And I to know you. Oh, look here. Perhaps we can have dinner together tonight. Oh, I would love that. You sure you're not busy or anything? Oh, nothing I cannot get out of. <laughs> oh, wizard. Uh, where shall we meet? Why do you not pick me up at my house? At your house? It is 811 Palm. 811 Palm Street. You live there alone? No, why, I live with an old uncle. <laughs> an old uncle? Yes, he's a darling old thing. <laughs> yes, how marvelous for oh, well, Yes, I'll be right there, sir. Pick you up then at 7.30, huh? Cheerio bye. Cheerio bye. Oh, I can't tell you what a stroke of luck this is for me, Doctor. Yes, I found I have a rather full schedule for this afternoon. You must wondering... cancel everything. I don't intend to let you out of my sight. <laughs> Good show. Shall we go? Yes, yes, go. <laughs> the happiest man alive until Major Nelson came on the space. <laughs> you have no idea what he's done to my life, Doctor. Uh, Dr. Bellows, I really didn't think that I'm the one to... I feel so much better finally being able to talk to someone about it. Yes, of course you do. However, uh, may I say again that I don't think I'm the one... I feel I can tell you everything because in a day or two you'll be gone and I won't have to look you in the eye every morning. <laughs> but may I say again that... He can see through walls. It's most important for an astronaut to have good vision. Thick walls. Thick walls. Not so long ago, he was in Cocoa Beach and Paris. <laughs> Jet pilots do get around nowadays, you know. <laughs> At the same time. At the same time. You don't think I'm disturbed, do you, Doctor? Oh, no, no, of course not, Dr. Bellows. Might I make just one tiny suggestion, however? Oh, please do. Uh, Dr. Freud had a patient with a problem similar to the one you've described. Dr. Freud? He did? Yes, yes. This patient thought, thought he saw an elephant in his living room. So did Major Nelson. As a matter of fact, I saw them too. <laughs> did you? So did Dr. Freud. Really? Well, how did Dr. Freud handle it? He, um, he gave his patient free reign. You see, the most important thing to do in a case like this is not to disturb the patient. They are often creative, uh, intelligent people, and they mustn't be inhibited. I never thought of it that way. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, 
Master. Hello. How are you, Jeannie? You were home early. Oh, yes, yes. I just came to pick up some papers. I'm going to be working late at base tonight. Oh. Well, that is too bad. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I stood you up for lunch. Lunch? Oh, oh, yes. You, uh, you weren't bored or anything, were you? Oh, no, not at all. I like the people at NASA. Good, good. Do you mean anybody special? Special? Hmm. No. You didn't? Should I have? No. What are you going to be doing while I'm at work tonight? Oh, well, I, I have not been able to make up my mind. I, I may just stay home and read. Oh, book, book, that's a good oh, on idea. On the other hand, I, I may go out with an old uncle of mine who is in town. No, uncle. Mm -hmm. Old Uncle Jeffrey. <laughs> Please do come in. Thank you, thank you. Um, is your uncle at home? No. We are all alone. Oh, oh splendid, splendid. Do you like the house? Oh, yes, yes. Wizard, wizard. Have you lived here long? Oh, yes. I was born here. Were you? Are you expecting someone? Oh, no. Oh, perhaps it is someone for my poor old uncle. <laughs> Hi, Jeannie. Oh, Major Healy. Oh, I didn't know you were decorated. Well... Where's Tony? Oh, Major Nelson had to work late tonight. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, I think it was unexpected. Why are we whispering? <laughs> oh, I didn't know you had company. Uh, hello. I'm, uh, Major Healy. Oh, hello, Dr. Jo Jeffrey Tiffin Smythe. Oh, you're a doctor. He's a doctor. <laughs> you, uh, you two known each other long? Well, well not long, but, but we are getting to know each other much better. <laughs> you just made me a rich man. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Oh, it's nothing, just a little bet I had with a friend of mine. What kind of bet? Well, I bet oh, that it was... heavens, look at the time. We're going to miss our reservation. Oh, res uh, are you two going out? Oh, yes. Uh, well, yes, not exactly. I love oh. dining out. Oh, I love your loving dining out with him. <laughs> I will go get my bag. Yes, do that. Oh, wait till I tell my friend about him going out. My foot! <laughs> oh, I'm dreadfully sorry. <sighs> oh, that's okay, Doc. While you're here, would you mind looking at this? Hmm? Oh, yes. Oh, stay off it for a week. I'm sure it'll be better. <laughs> Make that two weeks. <laughs> oh. Won the bet. Lost my foot, but I won the bet. <laughs> Would you like to pay me in cash or a check? What are you doing? I'm talking about the bet you lost last night. <laughs> are you serious? I've never been more serious in my life. Now, come on, pay up. Well, I, that was me. What was you? <laughs> you you're kidding. You, you really don't know who Dr. Tiffin Smythe is? No, who is he? He's me. Who's you? Who's what? Who's you? Roger, I'm me and you're you. And that's what makes the world go around, isn't it, Dr. Bell? I have the faintest idea what you're talking about. I think what you're saying that he... Oh! Oh, that's my broken foot. Sorry. Yes, sir. Uh, take a look at this when you get a chance, would you, Major? Of course, sir. Of course. <laughs> There's uh, no rush. I want you to take your time. Oh, thank you. I, I don't want you to feel under any pressure. Oh, thank you. I want you to feel free. Relaxed, uh, uninhibited. I want you to have a, a free reign. Well, that's very kind of you, sir. I think you're going to find things a little different around here, Major Nelson. I certainly hope so. I mean, good. good. <laughs> yes. Well, uh, carry on, gentlemen. <laughs> Thanks, sir. <laughs> well, if you'll just give me my $50, I'll be running along. Roger, you did not win that bet. The man's always the last one to know, isn't he? <laughs> well, I hate to be the one to break this to you, but uh, Jeannie went dining last night with a famous British doctor. Dr. Tiffin Smart. You, you mean you know about it? <laughs> He's an old friend of the family. Yeah. 
Well, I had a fiancé who said that once, and she wound up marrying the guy. Well, well, don't worry about Jeannie. She's not going to marry anybody. As a matter of fact, she has another date with that guy tonight, and uh, I think she's going to say goodbye to him. Another $50 says she doesn't. <laughs> You're wrong. Okay. Hey, wait a minute. How am I going to know if I win or not? Well, you can either take my word for it, or you can come to the house and see for yourself. I'll take your word for it. Go ahead. And come to your house and see for myself. <laughs> It's a most amusing evening. <laughs> well? Well, here we are. It's been a wonderful evening, Jeffrey. Oh, you're most flattering. I'm sure you'll go out quite often. Oh, no, I very seldom go out to restaurants. And not with anyone like you. <laughs> I'm afraid this is goodbye. Goodbye? Yes, I must return to London quite soon. Oh. Well, I cannot let you go now. Oh, but, uh, don't you said you must let me go. I will go to England. You will come to England? No. Well, I will go there if you're going to be there. Oh, marvelous, marvelous. That's, that's wonderful. Good night. Good night. Yes. Well, it's jolly nice and getting to know a person, isn't it? I mean, really knowing a person. Yes, it is, isn't it? Yes. Well, good night. Good night. Oh, Tony. Uh, you wouldn't listen to me. Roger. I got so lonely. Oh, did you? Mm. How was your uncle? Oh, he's fine. Well, I hope your evening wasn't too dull. <laughs> well, you know how it is when I am not with you. <laughs> oh, Dr. Bellows. Oh, good evening, Major Hilly. Good evening, sir. You haven't seen Tony, have you, sir? Uh, no. Well, I've got to find him. Uh, you haven't seen Dr. Tiffin Smythe, have you? Oh, I'll say I have. Oh, good. Where? He's at Tony's house. Of course, he must be working there. <laughs> I'll say. Yeah, thank you. Well, sir, if you see Tony, tell him I'm looking for him. Huh? Yes. Uh, Major. Yeah, yes, sir. I I'd see the doctor about that foot. Yes, doctor. Yes, doctor. <laughs> I think I'll go and see how Dr. Tiffin Smythe is coming along. <laughs> Could you stop the racket, Jeannie, please? Oh, I'm sorry, Master. Is there anything I can do for you? Oh, I think you've done quite enough already. Oh, I will get it. No, no, it would just pop out, please. Yes, Master. Please. <laughs> oh, uh, Dr. Bellis. Good evening, Major Nelson. <laughs> um, I'm sorry to intrude, but I'm looking for Dr. Tiffin Smythe. Uh, Dr. Tiffin Smythe? 
Well, he's gone. <laughs> Upstairs. Uh, tell him I'd like to see him, would you please? Uh, well, I really think he's awfully busy. Major, if you please. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks a lot, Jimmy. Oh, I'm sorry, Master. You see, I just dropped a few minutes. Yeah, would you please just get back in your bottle? Oh, yes, Master. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Not that way. Oh! Just down there. Uh, just blink it in your bottle. Oh, uh, Dr. Tippin Smart. Yes. You didn't lose any time, did you? <laughs> lose any time? You're already working on Major Nilsson. Oh, yes, yes. Splendid, Chef. Absolutely, <laughs> Parker Saab. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, I just dropped by because I'm leaving for Washington tomorrow and I wanted to see how things were progressing. Oh, marvelously. He's probably the best patient I've ever worked with. Oh, I'm delighted to hear you say that. Oh, you're... I would like to say goodbye to him. You would? Oh, yes, please. Of course. I'll fetch him for you. Thank you. Ah. Uh, Dr. Tiffin Smythe said you wanted to see me, sir. Yes. As a matter of fact, I'd like to talk to both of you at the same time. At the same time. I'll go get him. I'll go get him. No, no. You stay here. Dr. Tiffin Smythe. <laughs> I still think it'd be better if I went to get him. I don't think that will be necessary, Major. I don't know what you're trying to get away with, but you've made one serious mistake. I have. You happen to be dealing with a trained psychiatrist. There is no Dr. Tiffin Smythe. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon, Doctor. I should hope so. Major Nelson, shall we get back to work? Yes. Oh, yes, of course. If you'll excuse us, Dr. Bellows. Uh, uh, yes. Please, I didn't know. <laughs> you see, I thought that... Uh, well, uh, that you... There's something about this house. Uh, where well, you can't be. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, uh, you, you mean you knew about this all the... You knew about this all the time? Yes, Master. Well, then you, you're not in love with Jeffrey Tippett's Smart. Of course I am. What? I love you no matter who you are. <laughs> <laughs> There is one thing I do not understand, Master. What's that, Jenny? Why did you do this? Oh, I was just a little silly prank. Oh, I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. Just stand there. Yes? You still here? Would you do decide to move in? What a fine friend you are. Oh, what have I done? Oh, what have you done? Don't give me that what have you hey, done, Jess. it's me. Look, Major Healy to you. Look, how could you do this to poor Tony? I don't understand how Roger, you're Roger, it's me. Oh, buddy. Well, you just butt out. Is, you're going to break the heart of one of the nicest guys that ever lived. I mean, he trusted you. He, he even bet on you. Roger. It's me. <laughs> it's me, see? <laughs> yeah, forget about the bet. It's $100. dollars no, 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 it. Your bet. Fair and square. Forget about it. Huh? I lost it. No, really. Uh, uh, no, the genie oh, was a little thing we were. Oh! <laughs> Thank you.